Cagliari. Cagliari is an Italian municipality and the capital of the island of Sardinia, an autonomous region of Italy. Cagliari Sardinian name Castadu literally means castle. It has about 155,000 inhabitants, while its metropolitan city has more than 431,000 inhabitants. According to Eurostat, the population of the functional urban area, the commuting zone of Cagliari, rises to 476,974. Cagliari is the 26th largest city in Italy and the largest city on the island of Sardinia. An ancient city with a long history, Cagliari has seen the rule of several civilizations. Under the buildings of the modern city there is a continuous stratification attesting to human settlement over the course of some 5,000 years, from the Neolithic to today. Historical sites include the prehistoric Domus de Genes, very damaged by cave activity, a large Carthaginian era in Acropolis, a Roman era amphitheater, a Byzantine basilica, three Pisan era towers and a strong system of fortification that made the town a core of Spanish Habsburg imperial power in the western Mediterranean Sea. Its natural resources have always been its sheltered harbor, the often powerfully fortified hill of Castel di Castro, the modern Castadu, the salt from its lagoons, and, from the hinterland, wheat from the Campidano plain and silver and other ores from the Iglesiente mine. Cagliari was the capital of the Kingdom of Sardinia from 1324 to 1848, when Turin became the formal capital of the kingdom. Today the city is a regional cultural, educational, political and artistic center, known for its diverse Art Nouveau architecture and several monuments. It is also Sardinia's economic and industrial hub, having one of the biggest ports in the Mediterranean Sea, an international airport, and the 106th highest income level in Italy comparable to that of several northern Italian cities. It is also the seat of the University of Cagliari, founded in 1607, and of the primate Roman Catholic Archdiocese of Sardinia, since the 5th century AD. The Cagliari area has been inhabited since the Neolithic. It occupies a favorable position between the sea and a fertile plain and is surrounded by two marshes. There are high mountains nearby, to which people could evacuate if the settlement had to be given up. Relics of prehistoric inhabitants were found in the hill of Monte Claro and in Cape Santilia. Corali was established around the 8th 70th century BC as one of a string of Phoenician colonies in Sardinia, including Tharos. Its founding is linked to its position along communication routes with Africa as well as to its excellent port. The Phoenician settlement was located in the Stegnodi Santa Gila, west of the present center of Cagliari. This was also the site of the Roman porches Scipio. And when Arab pirates raided the area in the 8th century, it became the refuge for people fleeing from the city. Other Phoenician settlements have been found at Cape Santilia. In the late 6th century BC, Carthage took control of part of Sardinia, and Cagliari grew substantially under their domination, as testified by the large Tuvixedu necropolis and other remains. Cagliari was a fortified settlement in what is now the modern Marina Quarter, with an annexed holy area in the modern Stampace. Sardinia and Cagliari came under Roman rule in 238 BC, shortly after the First Punic War, when the Romans defeated the Carthaginians. No mention of it is found on the occasion of the Roman conquest of the island, but, during the Second Punic War, Corrales was the headquarters of the praetor, Titus Manlius Torquatus, from whence he conducted his operations against Hamsicra and the Carthaginians. At other times, it was also the Romans' chief naval station on the island and the residence of its praetor. The Romans built a new settlement east of the old Punic city, the Vicus Munitus Corrales mentioned by Varro Atticinus. The two urban agglomerations merged gradually during the 2nd century BC, to this process is perhaps attributable the plural name Corrales. Florus calls it the Herbs Urbinum or capital of Sardinia. He represents it as taken and severely punished by Gracchus, but this statement is wholly at variance with Livy's account of the wars of Gracchus, in Sardinia according to which the cities were faithful to Rome, and the revolt was confined to the mountain tribes. In the civil war between Caesar and Pompey, the citizens of Corrales were the first to declare in favor of the former, an example soon followed by the other cities off Sardinia, and Caesar himself touched there with his fleet on his return from Africa. A few years later, when Sardinia fell into the hands of Manus, the lieutenant of Sextus Pompeius, Corrales was the only city which offered any resistance, but was taken after a short siege. Cagliari continued to be regarded as the capital of the island under the Roman Empire, and though it did not become a colony, obtained the status of municipium. 
remains of Roman public buildings were found to the west of Marina in Piazza del Carmen. There was an area of ordinary housing near the modern Via Roma, and richer houses on the slopes of the Marina distinct. The amphitheater is located to the west of the Castello. A Christian community is attested in Cagliari at least as early as the 3rd century, and by the end of that century the city had a Christian bishop. In the middle decades of the 4th century Bishop Lucifer of Cagliari was exiled because of his opposition to the sentence against Athanasius of Alexandria at the Synod of Milan. He was banished to the desert of Thebes by the Emperor Constantius II. Claudian describes the ancient city of Caralis as extending to a considerable length towards the promontory or headland, the projection of which shelter at its port. The port affords good anchorage for large vessels, but besides this, which is only a well-sheltered standby, there is a large saltwater lake or lagoon, called the Stagno di Cagliari, adjoining the city and communicating by a narrow channel with the bay, which appears from Claudian to have been used in ancient times as an inner harbor or basin. The promontory adjoining the city is evidently that noticed by Ptolemy. After the fall of the Western Roman Empire Cagliari fell, together with the rest of Sardinia, into the hands of the Vandals, but appears to have retained its importance throughout the Middle Ages. Subsequently, ruled by the Vandals and then part of the Byzantine Empire, Cagliari became the capital of a gradually independent judgedom. However, there is some evidence that during this period of independence from external rule, the city was deserted because it was too exposed to attacks by Moorish pirates coming from North Africa and Spain. Apparently many people left Corrales and founded a new town named Santa Ija in an area close to the Santa Gila swamp to the west of Cagliari, but relatively distant from the sea. The judgedom of Cagliari comprised a large area of the Campidano Plain, the Salsi Sigliziente and the mountain region of Ogliastra. During the 11th century, the Republic of Pisa began to extend its political influence over the Judgedom of Cagliari. Pisa and the Maritime Republic of Genoa had a keen interest in Sardinia because it was a perfect strategic base for controlling the commercial routes between Italy and North Africa. In 1215 the Pisan Lombardo Visconti, Giudica of Galora, forced the Giudicesa Benedetta of Cagliari to give him a mount located east of Santa Igita. Soon Pisan merchants established there a new fortified city, known as Castel di Castro which can be considered the ancestor of the modern city of Cagliari. In 1258, after the defeat of William III, the last king of Cagliari, the Pisans and their Sardinian allies destroyed the old capital off Santigia. The judgedom of Cagliari was then divided into three parts, the northwest third went to Galora, the central portion was incorporated into Arborea, Salsis and Igliziente, on the southwest, were given to the Pisan della Gerardesca family while the Republic of Pisa maintained control over its colony of Castel di Castro. Some of the fortifications that still surround the current district of Castello were built by the Pisans, including the two remaining white limestone towers designed by the architect Giovanni Capula. Together with the district of Castello, Castel di Castro comprised the districts of Marina, and later and Villanova. Marina and Stampes were guarded by walls, in contrast to Villanova, which was mostly home to peasants. In the second decade of the 14th century the crown of Aragon conquered Sardinia after a series of battles against the Pisans. During the siege of Castel di Castro, the Aragonese, led by the infant Alfonso, built a stronghold on a more southern hill, that of Bonaria. When the fortified city was finally conquered by the Catalan Aragonese army, Castel di Castro became the administrative capital of the newborn kingdom of Sardinia, one of the many kingdoms forming the crown of Aragon which later came under the rule of the Spanish Empire. After the expulsion of the Tuscans, the Castello district was repopulated by the Catalan settlers of Bonaria while the indigenous population was, as in the past, concentrated in Stampes and Villanova. The kings of Aragon and later the kings of Spain, were represented in Cagliari by a viceroy, who resided in the Palazzo Regio. In the 16th century the fortifications of the city were strengthened with the construction of the bastions and the rights and benefits of the Catalan Aragonese where he extended to all citizens. The intellectual life was relatively lively and in the early years of the 17th century the university was founded. In 1718, after a brief rule by the Austrian Habsburgs, Colliery and Sardinia came under the House of Savoy. As rulers of Sardinia, the Savoys took the title of kings of the Sardinian kingdom. During the Savoyard era, until 1848, the institutions of the Sardinian kingdom remained unchanged, but with a perfect fusion in that year, all the possessions of the House of Savoy House, comprising Savoy, 
Nice, Piedmont and from 1815 Liguria, were merged into a unitary state. Although Sardinian by name, the kingdom had its parliament in Turin, where the Savoys resided, and its members were mainly aristocrats from Piedmont or the mainland. In the late 18th century during the Napoleonic Wars France tried to conquer Cagliari because of its strategic role in the Mediterranean Sea. A French army landed on Poeto Beach and advanced towards Cagliari, but the French were defeated by Sardinians who had decided to defend themselves against the revolutionary army. The people of Cagliari hoped to receive some concession from the Savoys in return for their defense of the town. For example, aristocrats from Cagliari asked for a Sardinian representative in the parliament of the kingdom. When the Savoyards refused any concession to the Sardinians, the inhabitants of Cagliari rose up against them and expelled all the representatives of the kingdom along with the Piedmontese rulers. This insurgence is celebrated in Cagliari during Sididus Sardigna on the last weekend of April. However, the Savoys regained control of the town after a brief period of autonomous rule. Starting in the 1870s, in the wake of the unification of Italy, the city experienced a century of rapid growth. Many buildings were erected by the end of the 19th century during the term of office of Mayor Ottone Baccaretta. Numerous buildings combined influences from Art Nouveau together with the traditional Sardinian taste for floral decoration, an example is the white marble city hall near the port. Baccaretta is also known for his strong repression of one of the earliest worker strikes at the beginning of the 20th century. During the Second World War Cagliari was heavily bombed by the Allies in February 1943. In order to escape from the danger of bombardments and difficult living conditions, many people were evacuated from the city into the countryside. In total the victims of the bombings were more than 2,000 and about 80% of the buildings were damaged. The city received the gold medal of military valor. After the Italian armistice with the Allies in September 1943, the German army took control of Cagliari and the island, but soon retreated peacefully in order to reinforce their positions in mainland Italy. The American army then took control of Cagliari. Airports near the city were used by Allied aircraft to fly to North Africa or mainland Italy and Sicily. After the war, the population of Cagliari grew again and many apartment blocks and recreational areas were erected in new residential districts. The city of Cagliari is situated in the south of Sardinia, overlooking the center of the eponymous gulf, also called Golfo degli Angeli after an ancient legend. The city is spread over and around the hill of the historic district of Castello and nine other limestone hills of the middle to late Miocene, unique heights of a little more than above sea level on the long plains of Campidano. The plain is actually a graben formed during the Alpine orogeny of the Cenozoic, which separated Sardinia from the European continent, roughly where the Gulf of Lyon is now. The graben filled in the course of tectonic movements associated with the breakup of the ancient island Paleozoic skeleton. The repeated intrusion of the sea left calcareous sediments that formed a series of hills that marked the territory of Colliery. Castello is where the fortified town arose in the Middle Age near the harbor of the port. Other hills are those of Mount Urpinu, the Saint Elias Hill, also known as the Sella del Diavolo for its shape, Tuvimanu and Tuvixidu, the site of the ancient Punic and Roman necropolis, the small Bonaria Hill, where the Basilica stands, and the San Michel Hill, with the eponymous castle on top. The modern city occupies the flat spaces between the hills and the sea to the south and southeast, along the Poeto Beach, the lagoons and ponds of Santa Gila and Molentragius, and the remains of more recent marine intrusions, in an articulate landscape with many landmarks and panoramas of the bay, the plain, and the mountains that surround it on the east and west. On the cold, clear days of winter, the snowy peaks of Ganergentio can be seen from the highest points of the city. The city has four historic neighborhoods, Castello. Marina, Stampace and Villanova and several modern districts, grown when part of the ancient walls had been demolished in the middle of the 19th century. The Comune of Cagliari has once or Coscrizione, the town of Piri, former village of the Campidano absorbed in the fast growth after the Second World War. Cagliari is one of the greenest Italian cities. Every inhabitant of Cagliari has access to a public gardens and parks. Its mild climate allows the growth of numerous subtropical plants such as jacaranda mimosifolia, ficus macrophylla, with some huge specimens in Viroma and in the University Botanic Gardens, Erythrina kaffir with its stunning red flowers, ficus retusa, which provides shade for several of the city's streets, Araucaria heterophylla, the date palm, the Canary Islands palm and the Mexican fan palm. Major city parks include 
The Melendergius Saline Regional Park is located near the city. Some mountain parks, such as Monte Arcosu or Matapis, with large forests and wildlife are also nearby. The main beach of Cagliari is the Poeto. It stretches for about, from Sella del Diavolo up to the coastline of Corto Santapostrofi Elena. Poeto is also the name of the district located on the western stretch of the strip between the beach and Saline di Molandergias. Another smaller beach is that of Kalamoska near the Santilia district. On the coast between Kalamoska and Poeto beaches, among the cliffs of the Sella del Diavolo, lies Cala Figuera, a small bay. Cagliari is close to other seaside locations such as Santa Margarita di Pula, Chia, Jeremias, Salonis, Villa Simias, and Costa Rey. Cagliari has a Mediterranean climate with hot, dry summers and very mild winters. The summer extreme values can be slightly over, sometimes with very high humidity, while in winter, under special and rare conditions, the temperature drops slightly below zero. Heavy snowfalls occur on average every 30 years. The average temperature of the coldest month, January, is about, and of the warmest month, August, about. But heat waves can occur, due to African anticyclone, starting in June. From mid-June to mid-September, rain is a rare event, limited to brief afternoon storms. The rainy season starts in September, and the first cold days come in December. Winds are frequent, especially the Mistral and Sirocco. In summer a marine Sirocco breeze lowers the temperature and brings some relief from the heat. According to a stat, in 2014 there were 154,356 people residing in Colliery, of whom 71,522 were male and 82,834 female for a sex ratio of 0.86. Minors totaled 12.92% of the population, compared to pensioners at 24.81%. The average age of Colliery residents is 47.44. The ratio of the population over 65 years of age to that under the age of 18, is 53.39%. The elderly population, defined as being over 65 years of age, has increased by 21.95% over the last 10 years. The current birth rate in Cagliari is 6.29 births per 1,000 inhabitants. The average number of people of any age per household is 2.11 and the percentage of households composed of a single person is 42.53%. The population of Cagliari is structured like that of other first world countries, especially as to the prevalence of an elderly population. The trend of these rates in the Cagliari metropolitan area is proportionally reversed in the suburbs, where most younger families move. 4.26% of the population was foreign, of which the largest group were Filipinos followed by Ukrainians, Romanians, Chinese and Senegalese. In 1928, during the fascist regime, the neighboring municipalities of Piri, Monserrato, Salargius, Cordiciu, and Ilmas, were merged with that of Cagliari. Mussolini's regime wanted to streamline the local administration by eliminating many small towns and at the same time show that Italy was a major power with many large cities. After the war these small municipalities gradually regained their autonomy except for the former town of Piri. The first table shows the inhabitants of the town in its present borders, the second one the commune population including the merged municipalities. The metropolitan city of Cagliari has been established in 2016 by a Sardinia regional law and totals about 431,000 inhabitants according to a stat it is composed of 17 municipalities along the coast of the Gulf and up to of the inner Campidano Plain. It covers an area on the plain of Campidano between large basins, ponds and the depopulated mountains up to above sea level. The mountains are largely covered by forests mostly managed by the Ente Force to the autonomous region of Sardinia. To the west these amount to on the Capitera and Pula Mountains. Monte Arcosa WWF Natural Reserve has on other, and to the east on Mount Serpidi and Set Fratelli there are a total of a forest. The metropolitan city is defined by municipalities where the population increased between the last two censuses, in a region where the population is otherwise generally decreasing. These municipalities welcome immigrants to the urban area whose main nucleus, the city of Cagliari, has a high number of elderly people. In the last century, the population of the municipalities of the metropolitan area increased by 354% and in the last 50 years by 158%. For the whole of Sardinia this increase was respectively 88% and 15%. The urbanization towards the area of Cagliari was, in percentage terms, impressive, 
making the capital of the island a metropolis surrounded by rural areas increasingly depopulated. This urbanization is also reflected in the concentration and colliery of most of the economic activities and wealth. According to 2014 data from the Italian Ministry of Economic Affairs, the inhabitants of Cagliari benefited a per capita income of €23,220, that is the 122% of the national average, while all of Sardinia benefited only €16,640, being the 13th region and 86% of the national average. The metropolitan area benefited an average income of 19,185 euros, 103% of the national average. With the 26% of the island population the Colliery Metropolitan City produces the 31% of its GDP as the capital city of the autonomous region of Sardinia. Colliery is the administrative hub and headquarters of the region as well as of the provincial office off the Italian central administration. Colliery is also the main trade and industrial center of the island, with numerous commercial sites and factories within its metropolitan boundaries. The Colliery Seric port system was the third in Italy for goods movements in 2014. The first department store, opened in 1931 in the center of the city, and it is still open today. Nowadays there are many commercial centres in the metropolitan area hosting many European chain stores such as Aachen, Metro AG, Lidl, Media World. Euronix, Yusk, Ikea, Carrefour and Bodishoes. Colliery is also home to an Amazon warehouse. Colliery is the main operational headquarters of the Banco di Sardegna, which belongs to the Pro Group and is listed on Borsa Italiana, of the Banca di Colliery. Banca di Credito Sardo was based in Colliery until it was absorbed by the parent company in Tessa San Paolo. The Magiaretu Grogastru area between Cagliari and Capitera is one of the most important industrial areas of Sardinia, in conjunction with a large international container terminal port at Orgino. Beside having one of the biggest container terminals on the Mediterranean Sea, Cagliari also has one of the largest fish markets in Italy offering for sale a vast array of fish to both the public and traders. The communications provider Tiscali also has its headquarters in Cagliari. Multinational corporations like Coca Cola, Heineken, Unilever, Bridgestone and any group have factories in town. One of the six oil refinery supersites in Europe, Ceres, is located within the metropolitan area at Ceres. Tourism is one of the major industries of the city, although historical venues such as its monumental Middle Ages and early modern period defense system, its Carthaginian, Roman and Byzantine ruins are less highlighted compared to the recreational beaches and coastline. Cruise ships touring the Mediterranean often stop for passengers at Cagliari, and the city is a traffic hub to the nearby beaches of Villa Simeus, Chia, Pula, and Costa Ray, as well as to the urban beach of Poa II. Pula is home to the archaeological site of the Punic and Roman city of Nora. Especially in summer, many clubs and pubs are goals for young locals and tourists. Pubs and nightclubs are concentrated in the course of Vittorio Emanuele II, a narrow street in Stampace district, in the Marina district, near the port and in the Castello district, the clubs are mostly to be found on the Poeto beach or in Viale Marconi. In Cagliari there are 180 B&B and 22 hotels that totals 3,300 beds. There are many others hotels and seaside resort of his golf. Considerable remains of the ancient city of Kerala's are still visible, including those of the Tuvixedu Necropolis, the Roman Amphitheater, traditionally called as Sensu Scalas, and of an aqueduct used to provide generally scarce water. Still visible are also some ancient cisterns of vast extent, the ruins of a small circular temple, and numerous sepulchres on a hill outside the modern town that appear to have formed the necropolis of the ancient city. The amphitheater stages open air operas and concerts during the summer. The Paleo-Christian Basilica of San Saturnino, dedicated to a martyr killed under Diocletian's reign, Saturninus of Cagliari, patron saint of the city, was built in the 5th century. Of the original building the dome and the central part remain, to which two arms were a dead later. A Paleo-Christian crypt is also under the Church of San Lucifero, dedicated to St. Lucifer, a bishop of the city. The church has a Baroque facade with ancient columns and sculpted parts, some of which came from the nearby necropolis. The old medieval town lies on top of a hill with a view of the Gulf of Cagliari. Most of its city walls are intact and include two early 14th-century white limestone towers, the Torre di San Pancrazio and the Torre dell'Elephant, typical examples of peace and military architecture. The local white limestone was also used to build the walls of the city and many other buildings, besides the towers. 
The exact period of construction of a fortress on this hill is unknown at present, due to the superposition of layers of buildings along the history. Some scholars have suggested a first urbanization of the quarter in the Punic era on the basis of similarity of the planimetry with the contemporary Carthaginian fortress of Monte Cirae. Recently, archaeological excavations have identified Punic and Roman buildings under the ramparts of the fortress. Already, the Roman poet Varro called the city Vicus Munitus, a fortified city, and 16th century authors describe a Roman acropolis perhaps still visible in their day. D. H. Lawrence, in his memoir of a voyage to Sardinia, See in Sardinia, that he undertook in January 1921, described the effect of warm Mediterranean sunlight on the white limestone city and compared Cagliari to a white Jerusalem. The cathedral was restored in the 1930s, returning the former Baroque facade into a medieval Pisan style facade more akin to the original appearance of the church in the 13th century. The bell tower is original. The interior has a nave and two aisles, with a pulpit sculpted for the Cathedral of Pisa but later donated to Cagliari. The crypt houses the remains of martyrs found in the Basilica of San Saturno. Near the cathedral is the palace of the provincial government. Before 1900 it was the island's governor's palace. The sanctuary of Our Lady of Bonaria was built by the Catalans in 1324-1329 when they were besieging the Pisans in Castello. It has a small Gothic portal and the facade in the interior houses a wooden statue of the Madonna, which, after having been thrown off a Spanish ship, landed at the foot of Bonaria Hill. Bonaria Hill is also the location of the monumental cemetery of Bonaria. The Chiesa della Parisima is a Catalan Gothic church built in the 16th century in the Castello Distinct. The other early districts of the town retain much of their original character. In Stampes the Torre dello Sperone. Another tower built by the Pisans in the late 13th century, is located, as well as two important monumental churches, the Collegia di Santana and the Chiesa di San Michele, both built in the 18th century in a Baroque style. Many more churches, both old and modern, can be found throughout the city. The promenade deck and the terrazza in Umberto I were designed in 1896 by the engineers Joseph Costa and Fulgencio Setti. The entire building was built of white and yellow limestone in a classical style with Corinthian columns. It was opened in 1901. A staircase with two flights provides access from Constitution Square. It is interrupted by a covered walkway and ends beneath the Arc de Triomphe, in the terrazza in Umberto I. In 1943, during World War II, the staircase and the Arch of Triumph were severely damaged by aerial bombardment, but after the conflict they were faithfully reconstructed. From the Terrazza in Umberto I the Bastion of Santa Catarina can be accessed via a short flight of steps. Here there was once an old Dominican convent, destroyed by fire in 1800. According to tradition, the conspiracy to kill the Viceroy Camarasa in 1666 was set up in the surroundings of the monastery. The promenade deck was inaugurated in 1902. At first it was used as a banqueting hall, then during the First World War as an infirmary. In the 1930s, during the period of sanctions, it was an exhibition of autarky. During World War II it served as a shelter for displaced people whose homes had been destroyed by bombs. In 1948 it hosted the first trade fair of Sardinia. After many years of decay, the promenade was restored and re-evaluated as a cultural space reserved especially for art exhibitions. The modern districts built in the late 19th and early 20th century contain examples of Art Deco architecture, as well as controversial examples of fascist neoclassicism architecture, such as the Court of Justice in Republic Square. The Court of Justice is near the biggest city park, Monte Urpinu, with its pine trees, artificial lakes, and a vast area with a hill. The Ordo Botanico dell'Università di Cagliari, the city's botanical garden, is also of interest. The city has numerous libraries and is also home to the State Archive, containing thousands of handwritten documents from the foundation of the Kingdom of Sardinia to the present. In addition to numerous local and university department libraries, the most important libraries are the Old University Library, with thousands of ancient books, the Provincial Library, the Regional Library, and the Mediatica of the Mediterranean, which contains the Municipal Archive and Library Collection. In the 1st century BC a famous singer and musician from Cagliari, Tigellius, lived in Rome and was satirized by Cicero and Horace. The history of Sardinian literature begins in Cagliari in the 1st century AD in the funerary monument of Attilia Pomptilla, carved into the rock of the necropolis off Tuvix Sidu. Poems are engraved in Greek and Latin dedicated to his dead wife. 
some of them, particularly those in the Greek language, have literary merit. The first Sardinian literary author known was Bishop Lucifer of Colliery, who wrote severe pamphlets against the Arian heresy in the 4th century AD. Only in the 11th century AD did the first texts of an administrative nature appear in the modern Sardinian language, together with hagiographs of local martyrs written in Latin. Life in Colliery has been depicted by many writers, starting with the late Roman poet Claudian. In the late 16th century, the local humanist Rodrigo Hino Baeza dedicated to his town a didactic Latin poem, Corrales Panegyricus. At the beginning of the 17th century Juan Francisco Carmona wrote a hymn to Cagliari in Spanish, Jacinto Arnal de Belia published in 1636, in Spanish, the first novel set in Cagliari, entitled El Forastero. David Herbert Lawrence wrote about the city in his sea in Sardinia. Modern writers connected to Cagliari include Giuseppe de C., Giulio Angiani, Giorgio Totti, Sergio Itzeni, Flavio Soriga. Cagliari was the birthplace or residence of the composer Ennio Porino, of the film, theater and TV director Nani Loy, and of the actors Gianni Agus, Amadeo Nazari and Pierangeli. Excluding the Roman era amphitheater, the first theater was inaugurated in Cagliari in 1767, the Teatro Zapata, later becoming the Civic Theater. Devastated by bombing in 1943, it was recently restored. But the roof was not rebuilt, and today it serves as an open air theater. The Politama Regina Margarita, inaugurated in 1859, was destroyed by fire in 1942 and never rebuilt. Although opera had, and in part still has, a solid tradition in the city, it was left without a true theater until 1993 when a new opera house, the Teatro Lirico, was inaugurated. Inside there is a music compound with a music conservatory with its own auditorium and a music park. Colliery is and was home to opera singers such as the tenors Giovanni Matteo Mario and Piero Schiavazzi, the baritone Angela Romero, the contralto Bernadette Moncati Nissa, born 1954 in the soprano Giusy Divino. The Italian pop singer Marco Carta was also born in Colliery, in 1985. The old Teatro Massimo was only recently renovated and is now the seat of the Teatro Stabile of Sardinia. The municipal auditorium in the former 17th-century Church of Santa Teresa, is the seat of the Scuola di Arte Dramatica di Cagliari, while the Teatro del Saline, is home of Acroma, Teatro Stable di Innovazione. Finally, some comic and satirical theater companies are active in the city, the most well-known being the Compagna Tetrail Lapala, which offers an urban version of the traditional Campanese comic theater. Founded by Bippi Vigna, Antonio Serra, and Michelle Meta, a comic book school, the Centro Internazionale del Fumetto has been active for several decades. Its founders invented and designed the comic characters Nathan Never and Legs Weaver. The Polo Museale di Cagliari Cittadella dei Masei is home to. The Feast of St. Ephesius is the most important religious event of Cagliari, taking place every year on May 1st. During this festival, thousands of people from folk groups all over Sardinia wear their traditional costumes. The saint is escorted by the traditional ancient Milicia, the deputy mayor, numerous confraternities, and a convoy of chariots pulled by oxen in a procession to Nora, from Colliery, where, according to tradition, he was beheaded. In addition to being one of the oldest, it is also the longest Italian religious procession, with a bout of walks over four days, and the largest in the Mediterranean area. A plague was spreading throughout Sardinia, starting in 1652 and the epidemic infected Cagliari in particular, killing some 10,000 inhabitants. According to legend, in 1656 St. Ephesius appeared to the Spanish viceroy, Francisco Fernandez de Castro Andrade, Count of Lemos to request a procession 1st of May, in order to free the city from the plague. The municipality of Cagliari swore that, if the plague disappeared, a procession would be held every day in the saint's honor, starting from the Stampace district and ending at Nora where the saint was martyred. In September the plague ended, and the procession and festival was therefore regularly held starting the following year on May 1st. The procession was held even during the last war, a statue of the saint was placed on a lorry and, through city ruins of the devastated by the bombs, arrived safely in Nora. Other feasts and events in Cagliari include The native language of Cagliari, declared official along with Italian, is Sardinian, a Romance language, specifically the Campanese dialect and its local variant. 
Egypt. The variant of Colliery in its high register has traditionally represented the linguistic model of reference for the entire southern area of the island, and the high social variant used by the middle class in the whole Campidanese domain, as well as the literary model of reference for writers and poets. This language is less spoken by the younger generations in the city, who use Italian instead as that language is compulsory in education and the mass media. Italian has increasingly become predominant in social relations, both formal and informal, relegating Sardinian to a mostly marginal role in everyday life. Young people often have only passive competence in the language, gathered from elderly relatives who still speak it, as their parents often speak only Italian, or they may use a juvenile slang that mixes both Sardinian and Italian. Since Colliery was the metropolis of the ancient Roman province, it absorbed innovations coming from Rome, Carthage, and Constantinople, and its language probably reflected late Latin urban dialects of the 5th century core cities of the empire. Colliery has some unique gastronomic traditions, unlike the rest of the island its cuisine is mostly based on the wide variety of locally available seafood. Although it is possible to trace influences from Catalan, Sicilian and Genoese cuisine. Cagliaritan food has a distinctive and unique character. Excellent wines are also part of Cagliaritanians' dinners, like the Cananao, Nuragas, Nasco, Monica, Moscow, Gyro, and Malvasia, produced in the nearby vineyards off the Campidano Plain. The main newspaper of Sardinia is L'Unione Sarda, it was founded in Cagliari in 1889. It was one of the first European newspapers to have its own website in 1994. It has a circulation of about 85,000 copies. The main regional headquarters of RAI, the Italian state-owned radio and television network, is in Cagliari. There are also two regional television and radio companies as well as numerous information sites on the Internet. Cagliari is home to the football team Cagliari Calcio, winner of the Italian League Championship in 1970, when the team was led by Gigi Riva. founded in 1920. The club played at the Stadio Santilia in the city from 1970 until it was closed in the summer of 2017, causing the club to temporarily relocate Dato the provisional Sardegna Arena. Santilia was the venue for three 1990 FIFA World Cup matches. Colliery is an ideal location for water sports such as surfing, kite surfing, wind surfing and sailing due to strong and reliable favorable winds. Field hockey is also popular, with two teams in the Italian top division. GSM Sicora and CUS Colliery, the first of which won the league title more often than any other Italian team in the men's championship and is also the protagonist in the women's division. Sport venues in Colliery include Colliery is the hub of the administration offices of the Sardinia Autonomous Region and of Colliery Province. It is also the home of several local offices of the Italian Central Administration. It is the seat of the Superintendency of Cultural and Environmental Heritage, of the Sardinia Archival Superintendency and of the Archaeological Superintendency of the Cultural Heritage Ministry, of the Sardinia and Provincial Seat of the Employment and Social Policies Ministry, of the Regional Offices of the Finance and Economy Ministry, and of some branch offices of the Health Ministry. Colliery is home to all criminal, civil, administrative and accounting courts for Sardinia of the Ministry of Justice up to the High Court of Assizes of Appeal. It was home to a prison, Buon Camino, built in the late 19th century, famous because no one has ever managed to escape. A new modern prison has been built in the nearby town of Uda. Traditionally, votes in Colliery are oriented towards the center-right wing. Since World War II, all the mayors belong to the Christian Democracy Party with the exception of Salvatore Ferrara, from the Socialist Party allied with the former. After the collapse of the traditional parties in the 1990s, the mayors belonged to the party or the coalition led by Silvio Berlusconi. The current economic and political crisis that affects Italy has prompted the electorate toward a large abstention and to elect a young mayor, Massimo Zetta, who belongs to a center-left alliance. In the last municipal elections in June 2016, Massimo Zetta was confirmed in the first round with 50.86% of the votes. Colliery is home to the University of Colliery, the largest public university in Sardinia, founded in 1626. It currently includes six faculties, engineering and architecture, medicine and surgery, economics, juridical, and political sciences, basic sciences, biology, and pharmacy, humanistic studies. It is attended by about 35,000 students. All science faculties of the university, as well as the university hospital, had been transferred to a new university citadel, 
located in Monserrato. Colliery's downtown houses the engineering and the humanities divisions and, in the castle, the seat of the rector, in an 18th century palace with a library of thousands of ancient books. Colliery is also the seat of the Pontifical Faculty of Theology of Sardinia and of the European Institute of Design. Life expectancy in Colliery is high, 79.5 years for men and 85.4 for women. There has been a public hospital in Colliery since the 17th century. The first modern structure was built in the middle of the 19th century, designed by the architect Gaetano Cima. This hospital is still operating, although all its departments will eventually be transferred to the new University Hospital in Monserrato. Among the other public hospitals, the Giuseppe Brazzu Hospital was recognized in 1993 as a high specialization nationally relevant hospital, particularly for liver, heart, pancreas, and bone marrow transplants. Other public hospitals in the city include the Santissima Trinita or commonly as Mirianis, the Banagi, specialized in pulmonology, Marino specialized in traumatology, hyperbaric medicine and spinal cord injuries, Bisnico specialized in oncology, and Microcytomico, specialized in thalassemia, genetic diseases and rare diseases. There are in addition many private hospitals. Despite its dry climate, Thanks to the regional system of dams, every inhabitant of Kayuri may have per day of safe drinking water. Waste sorting is still at a low level, only 33.4% of waste is separated. The city is served by the Kayuri Omas International Airport, located a few kilometers from the center of Kayuri. A railway line connects the city to the airport, walkways join the railway station to the air terminal. The terminal is also connected to the city by Highway SS-130 and by a bus service run by the ARST company to the central bus station in Mattiati Square, in the center of the city. There are other airports not too far from the city, Desiamanu Airport, a NATO military airport and three fields for air sports, Sertiana, Castiatas and Decimo Putsu. The following national roads begin in Cagliari. The port of Cagliari is divided in two sector the old port and the new international container terminal. The port system of Cagliari Sarek is the third for freight traffic in Italy with a movement of about 34 million tons. Cagliari has scheduled services by passenger ship to Civita Vecchia, Naples, Palermo, and Trapani. In Cagliari there are also two other small touristic ports, Susaku and Marina Piccola. The Ferro Videlo Stato railway station in Cagliari has services to Iglesias, Carbonia, Albia, Golfo Ranchi. Sassari, and Porto Torres. The nearby commune of Monserrato is the terminal railway station of a narrow gauge line to Arbitax and Sorgano. Bus and trolley bus services, managed by CTM and ARST, connect internal destinations in the city and in the metropolitan area. Cagliari is one of the few Italian cities with an extensive trolley bus network, whose fleet has been partially renovated in 2012. A metro like tram service on its own rail, Metro Cagliari operates between Piazza Repubblica and the new university campus near Monserrato and from Monserrato San Gotardo and Settimo San Pietro. A line between Piazza Repubblica and Piazza Mattiati, the city transport hub, is planned. Trenitalia, the primary train operator in Italy, operates a metro train service between Cagliari Central Station and Decimo Manu, which connects the airport with the city center. A public bike sharing service is operating with pickup points at Viasonino. Palazzo Civico, Piazza Repubblica, Piazza Giovanni 23, and Marina Piccola. Cagliari is twinned with. In Cagliari there are at present the following consulates. In English and Italian. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.